that the holidays are over, you may have a few gift cards you receive that you're waiting to spend. But what if you went to the store or restaurant and the card is declined? Then you come to find out that the money from the gift card had been stolen. Shelby Riley spoke with local police and to a victim about gift card scams. In 2022, there was $228 million worth of gift card uh, money that was swiped off and taken where the bad guys got the, uh, got the money. Say a family member gave you a gift card to your favorite restaurant for Christmas. Hey, Uncle Bob, give me a gift card here for $100. Thank you so much, Uncle Bob, to be on, on the visa. And then when you go to try to use the visa card, all of a sudden, hey, there's no money on this. Did uh, was Uncle Bob just, was he playing a trick on me or what is it? It may be a trick, but from a scammer, not from your Uncle Bob. They're going into the stores and they're taking the actual the, the gift cards off of the racks and they will take them to a location and they were taking down all the information, the barcode information and the other little number that goes with it, the authentication code, and then they're taking it and they're putting those cards back in there. This happened to Joanne Wilkerson after she was given a Visa gift card from a sorority that used her event venue. Uh, so we opened it up, um, gave it to the waitress. She came back. She said, I'm sorry, this card won't work. Wilkerson says she thought maybe she had to activate it online. And when that didn't work, she called customer support. Then she said the only way I could get it was she was going to send me an email. I needed to send a picture of my driver's license, which there's no way in the universe I'm going to do that. The money was already gone from the gift card. For some of the traffic stops that we've had on locally here on the interstate, we've stopped individuals where they have like 200 to 500 uh, actual uh, gift cards on them. And, you know, that really raises our suspicion. The Better Business Bureau says there has been a 50% increase compared to last year of reports made to the BBB scam tracker of gift card fraud. So how do you protect yourself? Can you see the barcode on it? Uh, is the seal broken on the, uh, the card or the envelope that is coming in? And take the opportunity once you purchase the card, uh, ask the retailer, say, hey, hey, can you please open this up to make sure that everything's okay with it. Also checking with the person who gave it to you to track down where it was purchased from. All the way around, it's uncomfortable for the person who gave the card. It's an uncomfortable for the person who received the card. It's uncomfortable all the way around. If you believe you have been a victim of gift card fraud, you can report it to the BBB. Also report it to your local police department and to the store where it was purchased. We have a link to the BBB's site on our website, mywabashvalley.com.